someone, a friend of ours, said, well, if you're going to play a piece of new music, the best way is to get the music from the composer. So I wrote to Shostakovich. Please, can we play your latest quartet? No one has played it here before. Please, would you send some music? We, we can't get it. And a few weeks later, this score arrived with the set of voices for the four of us and a letter from him saying he was very pleased that we wanted to play his music. We were only just out of university. We were really students. He was pleased we wanted, him to, wanted to play his music. But he said, I will be in England at that time. I want to come and hear it and meet you and get to know the quartet. And this was too amazing. Uh, it was so amazing we couldn't possibly believe it would happen. And he met us, he said very little, he spoke no English. And then eventually he said, do you find this quartet difficult? And I thought, well, yes, we do find it difficult, but if I tell him that, he may think, he may be worried, think we're not able to play it. Or if I say, no, we don't find it difficult, he may think, well, we haven't grasped the sense of this piece, because it is a very difficult piece. It's, it's, uh, it's very complicated. It's one of the first works in which he explored the 12 note technique of Schoenberg. And there are passages in, in here which are quite unlike anything he'd ever written before. I think I must have said how we worked very hard at it and we hoped he would be pleased. And so we played it to him. had his score uh, and he followed it like this, he could barely see, uh, and, uh, and followed it from beginning to end, listening and occasionally looking up with these extraordinary eyes. You can see there's so many letters that we have from him and one of the first ones he says, he was in Copenhagen, uh, he says, I'm very sorry, dear friends, I'm very sorry that I have not replied for so long. Thank you for the interest which you show in my works. Thanking us, 21-year-old students almost, for playing this great man's music. Thank you for the excellent recording of the 13th Quartet in your superlative performance. Uh, when someone like Shostakovich writes to you like this, you don't need reviews in newspapers anymore because uh, they can be bad or good or whatever. When you have the approval of this great man, uh, it, it's humbling because, not because Shostakovich likes our playing, but because you've communicated in a special way with this man and it inspires you to learn to study his music and to be truthful to what he wrote. Now, I have written another quartet, 14th Quartet. My best wishes to you for your good health and every success. So we wrote and said, well, exciting, please send us the 14th Quartet. But nothing came for many, many months. And we thought, well, of course, he's either very ill or he's forgotten. But then sometime early in, in the spring of 1974, this arrived, this very tatty score. This is the 14th Quartet. And... This was totally new. We had to look at this music and to decide how it had to sound, and it looks so simple. It, it's quite different from the 13th. The 13th is so harrowing, so disturbing. We expected something similar in this and couldn't quite understand why it opens with a jolly tune on the cello. <laughs> Textures are 
so simple, so spare. Why, the key is a major key, F sharp major, the most radiant of keys, the key that Mahler used for his last symphony, which he never completed, his farewell to life, but through radiance, the key, the sort of key that Janáček would use, and you find Janáček in this piece, uh, heart-rending human music, full of love and compassion, is in the 14th Quartet. Then you find that underneath the wit, the humour, um, the light-heartedness, there is an underlying sense of something else. Uh, and this comes out in the slow movement, the adagio, which is so private, so personal, so still. And when we got to the end of this movement, reading it through the first time, uh, there, there's a stillness at the end of the slow movement where the lower three voices are just holding very, very faintly, barely audible harmonies. And above that, the first violin plays as if in a dream. On that day, back in 1974, we got to the end of the movement, the stillness, the harmonic raptness, completely won us over, and we sat in silence for several minutes. And then into the last movement, which, which is so simple and so funny, um, in, in a way. And, uh, and then eventually the, the slow movement comes back to round the work off in F sharp major, in this bright, wonderfully radiant key. Not joyful, because there's the tinge uh, of the angst that uh, we heard, heard in the slow movement. The, uh, the music so impassioned and yet in the end so still uh, and, and so beautiful. This is the most beautiful music he wrote and in many ways the most difficult to make sense of. Dear friends, yesterday, 4th of March, 1974, I sent you the score and parts of my 14th quartet. I shall be very glad if this work interests you and you include it in your repertoire. I'm sorry it has taken me so long to send you the score. I have been very ill and could not write it out. I wish you every success in your work. D. Shostakovich.